It's okay, you'll subscribe eventually. Cause I'm just so funny. I'm so like tired. Yeah. I feel like I'm so tired that my face blew it. Like it's swollen because I'm so tired. That's weird, but. Okay, just woke up from like a three hour nap. Going out in Chicago with one of my crewmates. <laughs> been up for a while. I have a Cancun turn today out of Chicago. Um, yesterday was like really, I'm like tired but I can't go to sleep so my easy weird trip like is hard. <laughs> um, I deadheaded at 11 o'clock the night before, well I guess the day before yesterday and I thought I was going to sleep on the plane because it was a five hour flight to Mexico City and I had could not sleep at all, so I was awake the whole time, and then I had to work to um, to Chicago, but it was like, I don't know, I had been up for like 24 hours because I didn't get this trip until about 5 p.m., and at that point, I had been up like the whole day, and it was just like, it didn't work out, and it ended up me being up for like 24 hours. And when I got to Chicago, I was so tired. And then I laid here and I could not go to sleep. I took a nap for like three hours. And then I went out, as you guys just seen. Um, just saw, I'm sorry. And uh, I tried to go to sleep last night. And it just didn't really work out for me. I slept for like three hours. I, this is like the hard part of the job, sleep. I and mean, I've told you guys that before. It's like sleep is... It's like so rare to come by when you're working. And like sometimes, I don't know why, it's easy for me to like sleep on the way to Denver or in Denver or like on the way to Portland or in Port, like somewhere short. But anytime I go somewhere long, for some reason I can't sleep. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. Um, I did head back tomorrow, but I'm gonna see if maybe they'll keep me going because I'm good for basically two more days if they don't deadhead me tomorrow, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, but I'm about to get up and get dressed, do this Cancun turn, the good thing is that it's like going to Cancun, laying over for an hour, we don't even get off the plane, and then coming right back, so, you know, I'm, I don't have a long sit time, I'm not over there just messing around, you know, I, I, 
get there and go to plane, board, get the heck out. All right, well, um, enough of my jibber-jabber. I will try to keep you guys updated. The next time you see me, I should be looking so much better than this. I hope. <laughs> All right. I'm cheating you guys out of a real room tour, and that's because I forgot to do this. And I didn't want to do it without showing you my view. So nice. I had a really big, comfortable bed. It's so dirty. I'm sorry, guys. And then I had this really nice. I had a bath earlier, if you guys saw me on Snapchat. All right. It is time to go. Oh my God. I have to roll my skirt, and it just makes me look so much wider than I actually am. Ew. Okay. Bye. Oh, you can't even see you. <laughs> okay, guys, this is my room. It's a freaking mess. Um, yeah, two beds. Uh, my cocktail over there. It's a Jack and Ginger. Try it. Thank you later. This is my view. Nothing. And yeah, that's it. Oh, I didn't show you guys the bathroom. Let me show you the bathroom. <sighs> My clothes, that's how you know I'm just over it. And the light takes a little bit longer to turn on, but yeah. Oh my God, you guys, I'm finally done. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's been, it's been, a trip okay started out not getting any sleep the next day didn't get any sleep got lost in the Mexico airport it was just I didn't realize how much Spanish I actually spoke until I had no choice but to have to speak Spanish um, I'm sure a lot of you are probably like, what, you don't speak Spanish? You look like you speak Spanish. Yeah, I know, I know I look like I speak Spanish. But here's a fun fact about me. Um, I was raised by my mom, who is black and Filipino. Um, my dad was not in my life. My biological father was not in my life. And I didn't, the whole time I thought that he was Italian. And I finally met him in 2015. And he told me that he was Puerto Rican and Mexican, which are the two things, two most common things I'm always getting told that I look like. So, yes, I am Hispanic, but I did not grow up in a Hispanic household. Therefore, I do not know that much Spanish. I did take Spanish 1 and 2, and I grew up in L.A., so, of course, I knew a little bit of Spanish just off top. But I do not speak Spanish fluently. I could probably fool you, though. I know it's like some really random sentences that would make you think I knew, but I just know that really random sentence. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, uh, no speakers on the flights from Mexico City to uh, Chicago, Chicago to Cancun, Cancun to Chicago. I was basically the speaker, and I, just like I told you, I don't actually speak Spanish. Um, so that was interesting. It was... It was a little hard, it was challenging, uh, made me want to go back to school and, you know, really learn Spanish because I, I got through it. <laughs> I got through it, that's, the, that's all I can really say is that I got through it. Um, other than that, oh, I was an international person for the first time and it was a lot more stressful than I thought it was going to be. Um, a lot of things that I thought maybe I could slide with. Mm -mm. No, girl. Um, a lot of paperwork. A lot of things to remember. Um, if I had to do it again, I would definitely do it again. After, you know, seeing all the things that I have to do, it's not that hard. Uh, but searching for all the right paperwork, where it is, what to give out, blah, 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 that is hard. Um... And I had a really good trip. I had a lot of fun in downtown Chicago, as you guys have seen. You probably saw a lot more on my Snapchat. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat at Nay Chisholm. It's just like my YouTube handle, which is Bay Chisholm, but just instead of a B, it is an N. Make sure you follow me so you can get, like, I don't want to say exclusive because I don't think that the stuff that I, 
you know, record is like that cool. But I guess exclusive because I'm not putting it on my YouTube channel. But yeah, you know, follow me on there. I'll show you my day to day life normally. Um, sometimes I don't. I mean, it depends, but I mean, I don't snap every second of the day. Some days I will, but most days I don't do that. Um, oh, I have some really, really, really exciting news uh, that will be shared probably around the 3rd or the 4th, maybe a little sooner than that, I'm not sure. After I share that news, I will do my giveaway that I have been talking to you guys about for like two months. I swear I have all this stuff in my bag right now. I should probably do it right now, but I feel like it'll be more special and much better if I do it when after I announce my surprise. So, well, my not surprise. Not I mean, I guess it's a surprise to you guys, but it's not like, I don't know, after I announce my news. So, yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, share with your friends. You know, uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, ask me questions in every social media that I have except for Facebook. I will respond back. It might take a little bit longer, but I will respond back, I promise. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thanks for supporting me and subscribing to me and listening to me when I do drunk rants. Actually, I'm not drunk. I'm a little tipsy. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for doing that. And for anybody who is nosy, um, I still have about, I don't know, 17 hours till I have to deadhead back tomorrow. So I'm within my legal limits. Don't try it. Anyways, okay. Bye. <laughs> We are dead heading home. He doesn't want to drink with me on the flight. We I don't know where Marie is, but we'll see her on the plane. Please make sure you have all your personal